So in the last video, I added some pubs to this map, these red stars, which came from a CSV file, uh, Open Data. And then when I click on them, you can see the data in the info window over here. So what I'd like to do is uh, show the sort of concentration of these pubs against postcodes. So I've got some postcodes here. So these are sort of a bit like zip codes. They're, they're, they're sort of admin areas um, for postcode delivery. Um, and if I click on, on them, let's just go to the right button, you will see uh, there's LE4, LE42. So th these are defined areas with a, with, a, with a name. And like I said, what I want to do is, uh, is make a thematic. And this thematic will just be a count of how many of these red stars are in uh, each of these areas. So I can get an idea of, of sort of hotspots, really. So, and um, I think we can already guess <laughs> around built up areas, we're going to have more pubs. But anyway, let's, let's, let's do this. So how do you do this? Well, on the map tab is a theme. You add theme. We're going for a thematic map here. So I click on that. And what I'm going to do is click uh, ranges. And I've used that one at the top a few times. That, that, um, that color scheme, I'm, I'm happy with that uh, sort of template. Uh, but as you can see, there's a lot of templates and we'll, and we'll use a, um, some more in the future. But, um, but there's lots of options and they're very customizable. And you can create your own templates for here and call it what you like. So go to next. So I'm shading my postcodes. So that's these black boundaries you see. So that's what I'm going to shade. But where's the data from? Well, it's a count of each of the stars that belong that are found within inside, um, inside these polygons. So, um, you know, quick look at this one sort of over here. It looks like there's just two. So that should have a, um, a sort of lighter colour. So how do we do that? Well, we're going to sh shade these, this postcode polygon layer uh, by using a join. And when you click on the word join, you can say, I want to get value from table pubs, these red dots. But it's actually just the count of them I'm after. I just want to know how many are in each one, how many of these pubs are in each of the postcodes. I click on join. And here you can say, well, how is this join defined? Is it where a column is matches another column? Or is it this geography and it is this geography and it's defaulted to it it says where an object from table pubs i.e. a point is within an object from the Leicester postcodes which is a polygon so a point in polygon and you can see you got you know if you're dealing with other geometry types other geographies you could you could use contains or intersects it's is within is all i need press ok and now I do ok uh, just one note add new temporary column OK, so it's a temporary column that it's going to generate for us. And that field is going to be called, or that column is going to be called, count of open pubs. Press next. And there you go. It's all very quick. There's not much data. And here's the, uh, the, the uh, rendering that it's got together. I could click on ranges and change the number of these classifications, the ranges I want, um, and also the, the method it's, that's used. Just have a play with those. I could change styles. You can see how I've got the different colors. Well, there's there's lot there's a few options here, and and we can um, change the uh, styles manually and have a very unique color for each one. But the templates are usually pretty good. Uh, and of course, the legend itself. So this is uh, um, this legend could probably do a bit better. Leicester by pub. OK, and you see how it's put that at the top of the legend there. Press OK, and there you go. And you can see my sort of legend designer over, over there. Again, you can do all sorts of playing about with that. But you see now how we've got this thematic map generated for us. Let's turn off the dots for open pubs. And you can clearly see where, where the highest number or the higher number of pubs are um, in this uh, sort of Leicester region so 
if I in in the, the Explorer here the layer, layer control mechanism see how I can click on this down this arrow here which is next to ranges by count of open pubs so that's my thematic layer and it will be above the one you've um, chosen to render in this way and I can uncheck certain ranges so I can say I'm only interested in the top two so I can remove the others and now I purely have this thematic map which is shown a concentration of pubs um, of, of these select postcodes these are only select postcodes I've only got the ones around here um, on my map I've got all the postcodes loaded for the whole UK so you can see how I picked up just the ones of interest and to um, just show the legend again so you just go to add to map legends various settings you can do I'll just click finish and there you go move that down a bit So it's actually got it for, for the whole whole thing here. So that's the Leicester postcodes because that's what's um, the layer that's switched on. And the other layer that's switched on are these um, thematics. Anyway, I hope you find that useful. Thank you.